the match which should remind Plymouth Argyle of how it all began for them this season. You may remember it was their 3-2 victory that rushed them back in August, which set them off on that 19-match unbeaten run. It's like a similar vein of form with this afternoon's game. Which will stay top of the table not only into the new year, but right until the end of the season. Space to turn. Looking to put David Worrell in. A good opportunity. Yeah, finding Phillips. Nice touch for Marino Keith. Now David Worrell getting forward. Inside for Phillips. Might get a chance to get the shot in here. Oh, that was close. away to his right, might not need him, Turley making a good save. Cleared away in the end by Andy Sambrook. Oh, Stonebridge deciding to go it alone. He had Marino Keith away to his right, which was possibly a better option. Went for the shot though, and Turley forced to make a very good save. Helped out by Andy Sambrook. Turley looking to get the cross in away by McGlinchey. This is Underwood. It's cut out well by Hodges. Butterworth getting the shot in and Butterworth taking Larry o by surprise. Ray finding Partridge. But the cross in this time, it's too high for well, Larry o. The Hall couldn't stretch enough at the far post. Sambrook putting the cross in towards Lowe. Hoffman missing it, Hall, Lowe. And somehow rushed him, wasting the opportunity. Well, there were some errors there in the Argyle box. Sambrook so doing well just to find a little bit of space. A dummy, but... Uh, in behind him. Hodges for Keith, the little back heel, the flag is up for offside though. What with the free kick? Right across the face, and I don't think anybody got a touch until Bill Turley pulled it away for the corner. McGlinchey with the corner. Coughlin climbing, and Turley again denying Argyle with an even better save this time. Well, Graham Coughlin, well, he'd scored for the second game in a row then. Got up very well to McGlinchey's corner, which was well flighted. Turley having to get down to his right to turn the ball away. Stonebridge looking to set Martin Phillips away down this near touch line. Phillips has done well to get to the byline. Marino Keith. And a good save again from Turley. And that was a move that really deserved a goal. Phillips given the opportunity to have a real run down that touch line. He got to the byline. It was a good cross, good header from Keith. And a very fine save from Turley. deliver the free kick. And Marino Keith got in there with the header. It was another fine, fine save from Billy Turley. And that could so easily have been the all-important goal. Marino Keith stealing in behind the defence with the header. Good flick from him. Good save from the goalkeeper. Oops. There's Sturrock. Done well to get round the goalkeeper, and it's an own goal. Or is it? Well, I thought 
And there might have been a touch from the defender, but it looks as if Marino Keith is going to claim it. Well, Keith was in there in the middle of it. Well, was that an own goal? And Marino Keith will be keen to get the credit. I got in on the blind side of the defender, and uh, the defender never touched it in the end. But I'm obviously going to say that, but that's actually <laughs> what happened. Uh, it's, it's brilliant uh, to get in the, the score sheet for myself anyway, because I was deprived of the one up at Scunthorpe, which I scored as well. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, but the most important thing for the club is just to get back on the winning track. Uh, it's two games undefeated now, and uh, hopefully a lot more to come. Yeah, I mean, it's nice, obviously, to win the year as well at the top of the table, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, it's brilliant. Uh, we're there, at the top of the table in Merritt, and teams have got to go there and uh, knock us off. And uh, we're not going to be an easy side to knock off the table, everybody in there wants it.